The early pioneers of Cloncurry were a diverse group of people who played an important role in the development of the town and the surrounding region. Many of these pioneers came from other parts of Australia, as well as from overseas, in search of new opportunities and a chance to build a better life for themselves and their families. One of the most famous early pioneers was Ernest Henry, often referred to as the founder of Cloncurry. Ernest Henry was an adventurous grazier who in 1867 was in partnership with Roger Schaaf at Fort Constantine Station. Ernest Henry, in looking for more grazing land, came to a rocky outcrop that he named Mount Leviathan, now called Black Mountain. Thinking the outcropping ore body was copper, he loaded a dray full of the ore and travelled to Copperfield near Claremont, only to find it was iron ore. Not to be defeated, Ernest Henry came back to the area that same year and discovered copper, naming his find the Great Australia Mine. The township of Cloncurry slowly grew around the mine. The Afghan Camelier pioneers played an important role in the development of Outback Australia, including the Cloncurry area. Arriving in Australia in the mid-1800s, they quickly established themselves as essential members of the Outback communities, transporting all variety of household goods, mail, and including ore from the many scattered mines where wheeled wagons just couldn't reach. In the late 1800s to the early 1900s, Cloncurry became Queensland's largest GAN town, with 200 Cameliers and 2,000 camels, providing transport in the Cloncurry district and beyond. Up to 25 camels would be seen in a string, carrying goods to and from camps and towns in the area. Among the Cameliers, there were hawkers who travelled around the district, supplying household goods to outlying stations and the mining camps. Today, the legacy of the Afghan Cameliers can only be remembered by the site of their mosque and the few graves in the Afghan section of our general cemetery, including the grave of a Mohammedan priest, Sayed Omar. While somewhat difficult to find, the site of their mosque is situated on the junction of the Anna Branch of the Cloncurry River and the Coppermine Creek. We can also thank Afghans for the excellent Cloncurry buffalo grass, said to have come from their saddle packing. Though they also brought with them the African prickle tree, which they imported to provide feed for their camel. We should not forget our early Chinese pioneers. These early immigrants came to the Cloncurry area following the discovery of gold in the late 1800s. Along with the Chinese gold miners came their market gardeners, merchants, cooks and labourers, all making Cloncurry their home. Many are buried in the Chinese cemetery, which is situated near Coppermine Creek and across from what is known in the past as Chinatown. Many descendants of all these early pioneers remain in the town today.